All right, so, so far we've learned how to create our own solid and how to use that solid to create tool paths based on the wire frame that was created to protrude the features on our part, okay? You're not always gonna have this information readily available. When a customer sends you a part file, in most cases, or in a lot of cases, uh, will be a step file and you can actually request a step file because you will be able to open it in Mastercam and it opens up real clean and you can work with the geometry that shows up. Okay, so in this exercise we're actually going to save this part as a step file and then we're going to open up that step file and we're going to create geometry from the solid that is now visible in the step file and then based on that create a tool pass. So let's go through this process real quick. So we're going to go to file, save as, and from this center menu right here we're going to select step files. Okay, and we're going to call this blank part. Alright, so now it has saved that inside that folder. So we're going to open up that folder again. So here it is, blankpart.stp, so that's a step file. We'll click OK. Alright, so it took a little while to process and open up. But now you can see we have that same part show up. But now, when I go into the solids, all we have is a body. Okay, we don't have the individual folders with each feature inside of it that we use to create this geometry. So you're going to get this type of file to work with a lot, okay? So what we're going to do, let me just click on solid to clear the colors. What we're going to do is we're going to create some services from solid. And we're going to let it highlight the whole body, okay? So you can see the select body is highlighted. So when I click on that, It picks the whole body. I click OK. And then I click OK again. So now you can see everywhere that I wander my cursor, you can see there is a surface. Okay? Attached to the skin. So it's like a skin over the top of the solid. All right, so now we're going to use that surface to create geometry that we can select for drilling, okay? So first of all, we'll go back into Create, Service, and we're gonna untrim. And it wants to select the service, and so we click inside this hole. Actually, we're gonna click inside every hole and untrim that service that's in there. Now, notice what it does it trims that service, you know, gets rid of that radius that was trimmed, you know, because of the diameter of the part, and now creates a flat top or a flat service, okay? So let's go to the trouble of doing all those services that way. So you click inside each hole and let it untrim the service that's up inside of there. All right, so we click OK. So now all the surfaces up inside the holes are trimmed, okay? Now, we're gonna hit Save. Again, anytime you do something significant, you wanna save. Now, we open this up as a step file, but anytime you save, it's gonna save it again as a Mastercam file. So we click OK. It's gonna save it as a blank part MCX5, okay? All right, now we go into Create, and we're gonna create a curve on all edges, okay? Now I'm gonna select this whole part and then click the green button. And a curve is mainly wireframe geometry, okay? So we click okay. When you look on every edge, there is geometry, there's wireframe geometry, okay? You can highlight it and you can just barely see it, 
we can zoom in but that edge now has wireframe geometry to where what we started out with was just a solid okay so if we do an analyze entity properties and we let that edge highlight it's telling us that's a 250 diameter circle sitting there okay so now we have geometry that we can use for drilling so the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're back to top and we're looking right over the top of the holes there then we go back into our toolpath tab right click next to the red arrow mill toolpaths and drill click ok we're going to select entities and we're going to select these circles that are sitting on top of the holes that are at 45 degrees okay so we're going to select make sure it highlights the top one okay there you go click ok and it opens up the parameters we'll pick the quarter inch drill drill 0.250 just get your feeds and speeds correctly or like you want them drill counter bore and we know we want to drill a depth of an incremental distance of 0.5 we know that was enough top of stock again we click on the geometry we'll let it snap to it the top of the stock is at 1.5 so that's correct and then we're going to retract to 5 inches and the clearance 6 inches planes all set to top coolant on and the rotary axis control rotary axis positioning rotate about x-axis and let's see what that looks like the preview shows that we're lined up with the 45 degree holes let's do a back plot remember the software always rotates a little bit so we click play and let's see if it goes all the way through now if you want to go a little bit deeper than that go back into parameters go back into linking parameters make that minus 0.6 click OK you're gonna to have to regenerate go back into back plot and let's see what that looks like looks like that goes a little bit deeper comes out a little bit further so alright so then it's just like the previous video we just copy and paste this operation and select a different row okay alright so that's how we use a step file.